Hello and welcome to another Crocoblock video tutorial on Jetform Builder Pro add-ons. My name is Andrew and I will show you how to set up the Address Autocomplete add-on, a tool that allows integrating Google Maps search algorithm functionality directly into your form. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the Crocoblock channel if you enjoy our content, and share your questions, proposals and impressions in the comment section below. After you have activated the Jetform Builder plugin and the Address Autocomplete add-on on your website, go to the Jetform Builder settings and open the Address Autocomplete API tab. To connect Jetforms with Google Maps functionality, you must obtain a Google Places API key. If you don't have a valid API key, navigate to Google Cloud Console where you can generate one for free. You still have to provide your credit card details but you will be able to use the API key for something like 2 million results until you're asked to manually upgrade to a paid version. I've already connected my Google account with the console, but users who are here for the first time will have to go through a simple registration form. Once you're on the console, create a new project that will be associated with particular API. In that project, click the library button in the left hand bar to find the necessary API. Look for the Places API new option, which is the most recent version of the Google Maps API that stores 250,000 business locations worldwide and offers some other upgrades. Click Enable and at this point you will have to provide your billing details. I had my credit card details filled in and verified beforehand, so I'm skipping this stage and copying the generated key. After Google accepts your credit card information, you can use one of the restriction types for API keys. For example, you can use a website's URL to ensure the key is only used there. Next, we'll see the Google Maps platform with additional information. The Google Places API is actually a part of the Google Maps platform responsible for retrieving information about locations. Very importantly, you must find and click another Enable APIs button here to enable all APIs relevant for the autocomplete functionality. Before that, the generated API key is useless. You can spend much more time here in Google Console and honestly, I think Google developers have a lot of room for improvement in terms of making the platform more user-friendly. Keep in mind that the interface undergoes changes often, so be prepared to find buttons in different places than they are right now. Anyway, we're ready to insert Google's API key and enjoy the benefits it provides to our forms. Head back to Jetform Builder settings, insert the key and hit save. Now let's go to a pre-built form and insert a new Jetform block called Address Autocomplete field, which appears with the activation of a new add-on. Like with the other fields, we can insert its label, field name, description and default value. What sets it apart from other fields are the options in the field settings tabs. The first option offers to choose a country or countries from where the autocomplete search results will be shown. This way you can offer visitors more relevant options right from their first click. The second setting allows choosing the type of information that will appear in search suggestions. There are five options offered here. Geocode searches for matches from Google's list of geocoding results, which include businesses and geographical locations without necessarily specifying their address in the output. This option is best used when you aren't sure about specific location, address or business. The address option outputs geocoding results with precise addresses in the correct format. Establishment is for inputting business addresses. Region outputs options that match several Google result types, which it uses for mapping administrative areas from countries to regions to postal code areas. Finally, cities limits results to city names, while the actual outputs also include administrative areas and countries. Every option outputs a different set of results that may overlap, so you have to try them based on your specific needs. You can't choose two of these options, of course, because they trigger conflicting rules. However, that's not all. 
You can click the place types link here and end up on Google Maps platform documentation page. Here you can find a list of additional values that can be used in the place types field offering more targeted results. For example, instead of offering results from all businesses, the form field may just output bakery places using a bakery value. Alternatively, you can limit the results to countries only, eliminating the need to build a time-consuming drop-down field with an option for each country, making it faster for users to find the right option as they'll see the results after inputting one or two letters. Let's test out a few combinations of settings for multiple address fields and see how they function on the front end. For the first field, I'm choosing the United States as the country from where the search results will be sourced and address as the place type. I'll type that information in the label field so we remember what it's about when we're on the front side of things. For the second autocomplete field, let's now switch the place type to establishment. For the third field, I'll use a more specific filter for the result, gym which is available in Google's list. For the fourth and final field, I'm going to leave the allowed countries field blank and insert the value country in the place types. On the front page containing the form, we can start inputting addresses into different fields and observe the various results. For the field with the address place type, we can input addresses in different ways and see the right option among the hints below, soon after we start typing our address. Even if we make spelling mistakes, Google AI algorithm will most likely understand what we mean. This saves users time and ensures that the addresses are submitted in the correct format. For the field with the establishment place type, the autocomplete suggests specific businesses and public places closest to the area I specified. In the third field where I used a specific value, Google outputs whatever result it has for Jim. And in the last field, it suggests country names after the first few letters are inserted. As you can see, there are many purposes for implementing Google algorithms in forms. And thanks to JetForm Builder and its address autocomplete add-on, the process is simplified to the maximum, so no need for hard coding. You only have to provide the plugin with the API key once and then create as many customized autocomplete fields as you need. Please share your opinions about our method of integrating a Google API for address autocomplete functionality in forms and like our videos if you find them useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.